who of you did an automation or integration or build an app and did that in the given time and in the given budget? Every automation, integration or app building has unforeseen issues, in, deals with increasing customer wishes. After setting up a smart factory, I learned that the initial budget is always too low and the schedule too tight. And I understand the app builder, I understand the people from IT. Is the spec clear? Is the customer, are the customer wishes clear? Of course, you always have to deal with increasing wishes. Well, today I'm invited to tell our story, Mitsubishi with Time Series. And we realized in time and within the budget, two very nice apps for the main maintenance world, field service applications. And that's why I like to, to share my story today. And it makes me confident for the upcoming projects. We have a very good co collaboration with Time Series, Mendix, and that results in the fact that we are now a launching customer for the field service applications. I am the CEO of Mitsubishi Ele Elevator Europe, which belongs to the bigger group of Mitsubishi Electric. Mitsubishi Electric supplies all kinds of equipment from train engine, satellite, car navigation, and also elevators. Overall, it has more than 150,000 employees. Elevators are supplied in 92 countries. Our own operation start is started in Venendaal in 1951, and we are a well-recognized, high-quality supplier of elevators. But also top, we are recognized as one service company supplying the top-of-the-line services. In 1993, I start working with Mitsubishi and then I started as a mechanical engineer and we're using a drawing board. Today we are using configured to order fully automated systems. In 2013 I realized when I become MD we have to concentrate on IT. Every business is IT business is also a statement which is valid for the elevator industry. So we are really focusing on IT, processes, automation, data gathering and utilization. What are we aiming for? Who are we? Using state-of-the-art technology, equipment and principles to keep our customers happy and challenge ourselves every day to do it better tomorrow. That makes us happy. And our mission is in line with the mission of Mitsubishi Electric, of course, but I really like this phrase. The continuous improvement of technologies, services and business processes. That is what we are. Our company has all the means for a self-producing elevator company. We have R&D department, we have engineering, factory, installation, maintenance and also modernization. The total lifetime of an elevator is maintained with, with us. That's what we are focusing on. Our mother company has the strategy to look to have local development. So the development for a certain area needs to be done in that area. So in 2017, we are requested to develop an elevator for the European, uh, European area. And that realized in the first elevators booked in 2019. And considering the development of an elevator, we also considered we have to change the principles of our organization, we have to work towards a very lean organization using smart industry and smart factory principles. So what does that mean for us? Today our sales manager uses a configurator and that configurator guides him very logical through the questions and automatically that is generated a quotation but also sales drawing. And if that sales drawing is approved, we can automatically generate the production drawings and bill of materials and, in, and that all based on the same input. And in the factory automatically we can check the productability. Is it possible to make this piece of steel? Can we bend it? Can we cut it? And it makes automatically the programs, program files for laser cutting and bending. As a result of that, we could realize a 40% cost down on full turnkey basis. Of course, that has not only to deal with the factory, but also with the installation on the job site. Our factory 
is now paperless, production files and planning are made automatically, and the name of this product is MOVE. If we look to the market, we, can, we see several challenges. One is a very big pressure on the environmental issues, carbon dioxide emission reduction. Also, digitalization, there's a request for BIM, quotations in all kinds of sophisticated programs. Standardization, elevator becomes a commodity more and more, like your washing machine in your house. You don't know the brand, it's just a washing machine. Same for elevator. Other topic is the clustering of maintenance contracts. That is a collection of different brand elevators for one owner combined in one tender. So good quality elevator, bad quality elevator, together in a high demanding contract. And of course, one big challenge we are facing all is COVID. As an answer to a part of these, we supply the vertical transport by means of an elevator. The service is the vertical transport and the elevator is just the tool. We call it MUs. We agreed on certain KPIs which are really above the market standard and we guarantee fixed costs for the coming 20 years. We have only two variable, uh, variable uh, indicators, that is the indexation and also the users. And applying the MUs model, we can increase our efficiency on the maintenance, we can foresee necessary replacement, and by doing that we can increase our uptime. And on the end that results in less pressure on the environment, uh, environmental issues, and we can plan efficient visits, and due to that we have no replacement. And currently we are facing the lack of materials, by having no replacement, it's good for the environment, but also good for your pocket because you don't have to replace it. And lack of materials is one of the issues we will face in the coming, coming years. But also, the lack of manpower is another issue. We are eliminating that risk. Now, supplying the excellent quality really becomes visible in the lifetime cost of an elevator. How can we meet the reduction of carbon dioxide emission, for example, just by using sensor data-driven maintenance? All, all, of, all of our elevators are supplied with remote monitoring. And that is not very special, but how to use that data? We improve our planning of visits, regular visits, but also callbacks. And in line with the characteristics of the usage, so we can reduce the replacement, callbacks and regular maintenance visits. Of course, the link between efficiency and reducing carbon dioxide emission is easily made in this context. And business and environment goes together, double sustainable. And then Corona, March 2020, we had a brainstorm online. How can we support the society with technology in this situation? Very fast, we could develop an app controlling the elevator by your smartphone, so you don't have to touch the button, but you scan uh, a QR code on the elevator and you can re register your required floor. And that can be done in the, in the cabin and on the hall. And we developed that in very close cooperation with Time Series Mendex in just only two weeks. Low code really showed its value and as well the social need of quick response. Can open. We supply can open technology to our elevators. We really believe the differentiator in the market is the best service and not the best protection of your equipment. So the best service is the power. So we, may, we apply can open technology in order to have it open for everyone. And easy, that easy connection make it also very good possible to make it a, a service application by using a remote monitoring to check the users, but also we can check the safety chain information. It's a little bit too technical, but we can check the status of the elevator in all, all means. And latest, we can do some software versions uh, at modifications as well. We can register the callback, but also the cause of the callback, because we can look back in the history of the elevator from our office. 
So we can assist our maintenance engineer on the job site from the office and we can do small changes as well. Recently we launched our field service application that is mainly built for our maintenance engineer to reduce their administration and to support their job. We also apply automated scheduling so we can schedule the maintenance visit over a whole year based on the data received from remote monitoring manually. And we can plan the callbacks easily. We know exactly where the engineer is by applying this new, tech, new field service app. By that course we can assign our maintenance engineer quicker to emergency jobs. So what did we plan for the future? We really like to integrate the systems. It's all about an elevator, of course. You see that on the left side of the screen. We have an elevator that has sensors. We have R&D, who has an elect an, a theoretical lifetime model. And we have our back office. And that is what we call sources. Remote monitoring gives the data regarding the users but also the incidents and circumstances, like heavy rain or flood. That is very um, realistic if you remember we are living under sea level. So we have three sources, three separated processes, and in the next step we want to integrate three of them in one remote monitoring field application. Next step is the integration of these three. This information will be used as, a steering, as steering for our maintenance worker. Together with his technical expertise, we don't want to eliminate that, and the real on-site on visit, the information will be ju judged by him on the job site, supported by the remote uh, uh, monitoring data and the theoretical lifetime model. He will make the, his own decision to change the component or keep it running or repair it, whatever he, he, he thinks is the best. And what are the benefits of this integration? Is really, we really believe that will increase the customer satisfaction. And also, what is also important, one of our items in the vision is we want to have a happy worker. Now, I really believe that will increase uh, the happiness of our maintenance worker because less urgent issues, no nighttime jobs or at least limited nighttime jobs and that will really, really help them. And it will decrease, of course, uh, as a result of that, the cost and also the pressure on the environment as I explained earlier. And on the end, it supports us to fulfill our promises with MUs as I explained in the tight KPIs we, we put in the contract. So decreased cost will be the accepted results and the possible reduction of the service fee. It does not automatically mean we have to make more profit, but we can lower the cost. And also very important is we can do, have more planable work. In a maintenance company, every issue, what is disturbing the process, let's say a callback or a emergency call, is disturbing the regular maintenance. So we want to avoid that as much as possible. Well, our vision is clear. We want to adopt new technology in a fast and sustainable way. And the way we work together with time series, Mendex, is very, very good. And that works very, very nice for us because we are fast. Remember the issue of the uh, the app for the call of the elevator in Corona time, we could make that in only two, we two weeks time. And the, do the knowledge of the domain, especially with Mendex time series, is very well, very good. And that support us. We are the practical one. We are working with that. And time series brings in that knowledge as well. And together we can really work together in making applications really usable, useful for our company. And not only we do not have a relation as a supplier and a customer, but we have really the relation of a partner. We want to grow together. We want to be better together. And that, and very important notice as well, 
the organization keeps promises and budgets. I think that is also very special in IT world. Unfortunately, I have to say that. So if you have a dream or an image, describe it together with your software partner and start building it block by block. Keep in mind the total building, but start small and think big or think big and start small. So I think that is very important and that is keep in mind your final goal and do it step by step. In our industry and in a lot of other industries, as well, there is a lot of talk about predictive maintenance, connected with big data using AI and machine learning and all that kind of fancy terms. And I really think that's important. But of course, what is most important, we have to keep the benefit for our customer in mind. And that is not that the elevator is connected with AI, but our service have to in increase. And that is not a fancy talk, that's not a fancy uh, we use machine learning or AI, now we improve our, our satisfaction of the customer. So again, who of you build an app or an integration or automation and kept the budget and the schedule? We did, thanks to the strong connection and strong support from the low code of Mendex and the good collaboration between Mitsubishi and Time Series. We are really happy with that. Please enjoy your Mendex world. Thank you. Thank you.